win frame. Bam, 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 bam. That's a handsome man right there. Ah, oh, man, I was fucking just uh, trolling on my Facebook a little something. My goal was to hit a mic tonight. Pickle stand was canceled. I see Brian Bargainer, um, he did a mic at his house, but that shit about to be over in like 20 minutes. So I missed that, but hopefully that'll be something that they do on a regular basis, because that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm starving right now. I got to go drop some money in the bank. Of course, my return in while I'm turning out. Yeah, you would do that. You're awesome. Not. You're a fucking bitch. Walmart just re re attracts like retarded motherfuckers and people that like just got their license. Ugh. What's popping though? We gonna talk about Trump and some gay shit. That's what we're about to talk about right now. Cause that's all I pretty much been talking about all day is Trump and some gay shit. Ah. Nah, I really don't give a fuck. I just want y'all to hop in. I'm trying to like figure out the perfect the perfect, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I want to find the perfect title so I can get like a hundred motherfuckers to hop in on this shit. I want to be, to ah, you know what? You know, it's for, I could go into one. I'm, I'm in groups that have like 30, 40,000 people in them. And I should go live in there, but I don't, I'm not active enough in enough of these groups for people to give a fuck. But if, if I have the most, like, the, if I have the illest, title, then I could probably attract enough people to, to talk to because I love doing this shit, man. I want to build my platform up. I got it. And then I don't, the only way you can build up your because I'm trying to build up my YouTube slash Instagram platform. And the only way you can do that is constantly putting out content. So I, I'm going to, you're going to be seeing a lot more trolling from me on Facebook. Just give them my take on uh, different topics and situations. Because my shit going to pop off. It's going to happen, man. I know it's going on. But we're going to talk about some gay shit and Trump. Like, as far as politics go, and maybe this comes from being raised or being associated with Joe. I wasn't raised a Jehovah's Witness, one of Jehovah's Witnesses, or a Jehovah's Witness, however you pronounce it. But I was affiliated with them from pretty much the age of 12 to the age of 22. From a very young and impressionable age. And if you know, uh, Fuck, why did I get on this highway? If you know anything about uh, Jehovah's Witness, damn, why did I get on this fucking highway? It's so gay. But if you know anything about Jehovah's Witnesses, they don't participate in politics and government. They don't get involved with things like that. So from a very, very young age, I always had an aversion towards government and politics and voting and things of that nature because that's just how I was conditioned since I was little, you know? So I don't really follow politics. I don't really know what the fuck is going on. I don't know the difference between Democrats and Republicans. I know uh, Republicans tend to be more conservative. I know De Democrats tend to be more liberal. I know the left is liberal. I know the right is conservative. I know that. You know what I mean? So I pretty much remain neutral. I don't really have much of an, op an opinion on it. But what I do have a problem with is when people are developing their opinions based on what television is telling them to do, what the media is telling them what to do and believe. That's when I got a problem. And then when you're you're like of a certain group or a certain ilk, if you don't share the common thought or mindset that certain groups share, then you get hated on by that group. Prime example, I'm black. The common uh, trend for black people was we hate Trump, fuck Trump, hashtag fuck Trump, we hate Trump, we hate Trump, can't stand Trump, don't like Trump, fuck Trump. If you got a black person that not even likes Trump, because I don't like or dislike Trump, I'm indifferent about it. But if you got like a black person that has no opinion about Trump, he doesn't share that same hate that the other collective of black people share. Now all of a sudden, yo, fuck you, man. You was a coon. You was Uncle Tom, yo. Yo, fuck that shit, man. Word, man. 
You gotta like not like Trump the way we not like Trump. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. Word, man. And to me, that shit is so, so fucking corny. I like, I, I, I really, look at this asshole. He might be a cop. I really, I really hate that shit with fucking passion, man. I think that shit is goofy, man. I really hate that shit with a fucking passion. So, because I don't share the same thought and idea that you do. And I'm not joining your hate team towards somebody. I don't hate nobody. People have wronged me. Like It's like people in real life that have did foul shit to me that I don't hate. So if that's the case, why the fuck? If people have done real heinous shit to me in real life, I don't hate. Now, how the fuck could I hate somebody that I've never even met before in my life? Like, people have done some foul, sinister shit to me in real life. And I don't hate them. So how can I hate somebody that I don't know that's on television? It's all entertainment. Even politics is entertainment. This shit ain't real. That shit is all pre-scripted. There ain't no left, there ain't no right. It's elite motherfuckers that's getting money. The same motherfucker you hating Trump, but you loving fucking uh, Obama. Them motherfuckers is eating behind closed doors and probably fucking each other too. Y'all see good guys and bad guys, man. They all just getting money. Just some prefer getting money on one way and some prefer getting money another way. Some get prefer getting money looking like this. Some prefer getting money looking like that. But you know what they both have in common? They both getting money. And you're not. You just broke complaining and shit. You need to focus and worry about yourself, worry about your being instead of worrying about who the next man likes and doesn't like. Worry about yourself and worry about your being instead of being upset because I don't hate who you hate. That's corny. You no know the fuck cares if a person hates the same people that they do. People that's like in middle school, elementary school. I, I, I don't like him, so you ain't supposed to like him either. Like, shut up. Shut the fuck up. When, 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 what, what happened to people just having their own personal opinions without other people trying to shove their opinions down their throats? What happened to that, man? Whatever happened to that? I, I gotta, I, I have, because I'm black, I have to share the same exact opinion. I don't listen, like I said, I don't know shit about politics. I don't know about policies, government. I don't know, I don't know about none of that shit. I just pay my taxes and I don't commit crimes. That's it. That's all I try to do. But I got, oh yeah, yo, yo, I hate Trump. Fuck that, I hate Trump. So I gotta, and because the black people saying that, I gotta be like that. And just by me even saying this, I already know you know what I'm saying? Your, 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 your nigger flexes is already mad and twitching. Your fucking nigger flexes is twitching. Like, this nigga coon. Like, automatically, as soon as a black person, like, I don't hate Trump, but I don't like, I don't care. As soon as a black person says shit like that, the collective hive minded niggers, black people be going, they nigger fucking nigger flexes go off and shit. And they fucking be twitching like, fuck that coon, fuck that nigga. Because he don't hate, he don't hate the way I do. Like, you know what? Some of us are not governed by hate. Some of us don't have to be fucking led by just being hateful motherfuckers. Some of us is just an indifferent. And I don't I don't call out if Trump doing something bad. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But I do call out hypocrisy. All these in my office say everybody hating. The only niggas only hating him because he just recently became president. Where the fuck was y'all motherfuckers the, the past 20 years? This motherfucker went ran for president like five or six times. What was y'all the past 20 years? You know, the only reason why y'all motherfuckers hate me is because the media is telling you to hate them. This is some new trendy shit. It's like the fucking hula hoop or bell bottom pants or fucking pet rocks. Black people hating Trump is like some pet, it's a fucking fad. That's all it is. And the same hate y'all giving homie, y'all was giving, y'all was giving, uh, 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 yeah, like the board from Star Trek, the collective. The same hate y'all giving me. I was giving George W. Bush the same hate. Both terms. Y'all was giving Ronald Reagan the same hate. Y'all was giving George Bush Sr. the same hate. Hey, give me a second. I gotta um I gotta throw some money in the bank real quick. I'm gonna leave y'all in here. I'll be back.
I'm back. But yeah, I was giving home the same fucking help. Hey. You said if I put all my facial hair on top of my head, I have a jerry curl. That's funny as hell. But yeah, y'all was giving home. Y'all was giving anybody that's Republican, Republican, Republican. Oh, I hate the Republicans. You know, they was the party that freed the slaves and like. If I, if I, if memory serves me correct, like historically, I think uh, KKK started it with Democrats or whatever. I don't know. Like I said, I don't follow politics, none of that shit. I, I just feel like the hate trends are just corny, man. You really, you know how, how much energy it takes to really hate somebody. Why would you? Why would you give anybody that type of satisfaction for you to actually say you hate them? Now, if you say I don't fuck with Trump or whatever, like fuck that nigga, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Keep it moving on some dismissive shit. That's different. But y'all motherfuckers be really passionate. I just want chick hopping on my status like, <laughs> when you make these jokes and you make it seem like you support Trump, it hurts. It's really hurtful. <laughs> it's so, shut up. God damn. Shut the fuck up, man. Everybody want to be a fucking victim and cry just because somebody else doesn't see something the way they see or just because somebody says things that they don't really approve of y'all always want to fucking hop on your soapbox and hop, hop on their status and cry and act like fucking pussies what the fuck is going on with this fucking society where we're so goddamn pussified and everybody gotta have the same goddamn mentality what the fuck this shit is annoying man this planet sucks right now Actually, but I do enjoy ranting like this thing. So this plan is pretty cool. You know what? Y'all keep being pussies and sad, PC ass bitches and shit and complaining because y'all give me the fuel to make these types of videos, you know? But, oh my God, yo. I've never seen some soft ass baby shit motherfuckers. This shit is crazy to me. <laughs> and, and when you make those jokes and you don't hate Trump the way I do, it's. It's so hurtful, and it's. Oh my God. I don't. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with my life because I hate Trump so much, and I'm black. And this other person on Facebook, who's on my friends list, he's black too, and he doesn't hate Trump. No way, I hate Trump. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'm out. Peace.